brother who'd been playing the musician for X amount of years um, got a really big record deal with EMI Records with a band called The Flies and um, I didn't really know much about the music scene at all I thought it was very interesting and I'd love to sing but nothing really nothing really alluring for me but I used to go to my brother's gigs and they used to support a band called the Buzzcocks a lot and it was a very exciting time musically with the end of the like the really heavy punk era but the beginning of sort of new melodic new wave which was really interesting especially for a small faces fan like myself so I asked Neil if he'd help me write a song and I wrote my first song about then, and it was a really awful song. Somebody taught me to play the piano a little bit by writing C, D, E, F, G, etc., etc., on the keyboard. And that's how my songs started to get written. Now, after Neil's initial small bit of fame, about two years later, when I was still bashing out the songs and trying to get record deals and publishing deals, I wrote a few songs and my kind of small amount of fame, which was very small, seemed to go before me and a, a film company who were actually seeing every single pop star on the scene at that time. I mean, everybody um, since I made Breaking Glass has said, oh, well, I would offer that part first, as if it's like some big put down to me. But in fact, um, there were only two people that were really up for that film in the end. Usually you find the people that say it was their part actually had nothing to do with it. But I was presented with this film, which was quite extraordinary for me because I've always been a person who runs away. And I can remember going to the audition for that film and Toya was there in the same place for the audition. And I thought, oh, there's that Toya Wilcox. She's really famous. I read about her in the music papers. And here is Little Miss Me from nowhere and I think I'd better just go away now because it's not my scene. And somehow I just kind of got fed up with running, I guess. I decided it was time to stand and see if, if, if I could at least try because I think people who tend to run away, which is one of my traits, run away because they're scared of rejection. And I was fed up with being scared of my own fear of rejection. So I stayed and I went into this office and I acted pretty stupid, really. I couldn't understand why they asked me back. And they asked me back and I ended up getting the part, which totally amazed me. And since then, I've always decided, apart from a little faltering over the last three years ago, when everything was starting to get a bit too much for me, that I would never run away again. And I, I probably won't. I mean, I've decided now.